What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. We are the historic original drone channel here on YouTube. You've probably seen my videos if you've been looking for DJI videos in the past. We've taught over 17 million people how to fly drones around the world and today DJI has released the Mavic 2, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom version. So in this video we're going to talk about both versions, which one might be right for you. We're going to go over the specs, give you a full overview of each one and by the end of this video we're going to let you know which one I personally would choose. So sit back, relax, enjoy the full overview and professional view at the new Mavic 2 by Drone Camps. Here we go. Now there are some big differences between these two drums. Mavic 2 Pro is going to be incorporated with a Hasselblad camera and if you are a photographer or videographer that needs really high resolution, you need that adjustable aperture, you also need that 1 inch CMOS sensor in there and you want 10 bit D-Log, you also want HDR 10 bit video. That is going to make your video look amazing. If you're doing professional photography and videography, this is the professional's choice that's going to fit in your bag and you'll be able to take this anywhere in the world to impress your clients with. The Mavic 2 Zoom is a historic release by DJI mainly because drone pilots since the beginning of the drone industry have been asking me if I have a drone for them that has Zoom on it and I've been telling them no for over five years. Finally today we have a drone with a CMOS sensor on board, 2x optical zoom and it's available for $12.49 so this kind of changes the game. Before if you wanted zoom on a drone we had to custom build you something like the DJI S1000, put a large camera on there that would cost you almost as much as the drone itself, some people spending over $15,000 to achieve zoom. So now we're here. We're close to around $1,000 and you can do optical zoom and 4x lossless zoom on this particular drone. And a big value for this one is dolly zoom. You'll be able to do some really cinematic wide open pan shots while focusing on a subject. That is going to make some amazing video for 2018 and 2019. And the update to H265 is just going to make everything look a little bit more in focus and the colors are going to look amazing. And one of the most amazing new features for the Mavic 2 is the hyperlapse mode. It also allows four different flight modes in this mode. You can do free flight, which allows you to fly around and record your time lapse video straight to your SD card or your 8 gigabytes onboard storage. You can also do circle mode, which is going to allow you to focus in on a subject, rotating around it, creating your time lapse. Also course lock, flying in a straight line and focusing on a certain subject while making your time lapse. And finally, waypoint time lapses using the hyperlapse mode. Also amazing because you can set your coordinates and do a time lapse video on the fly. And also super resolution is incorporated into the Mavic 2 and you can zoom way into your photos and really see the details that we're looking for in our photography. Now they also say we can fly faster, longer and quieter with the new power system and that 4S 3850 milliamp battery is going to get us an upwards of 31 minutes flight time which is not too bad. DJI drones for a long time now have had intelligent flight modes and new for the Mavic 2 is ActiveTrack 2.0 just released with a new algorithm and an update to the code. It also features new precision recognition mapping for the environment in front of the drone and also new in ActiveTrack 2.0 is trajectory prediction so as your subject travels along a route the drone actually predicts which way it might go in the future which is a really neat predictive type of algorithm. Also you have high speed tracking for subject and you also have object awareness sensors working full time while you're tracking your subject on the lower speeds. Very exciting for a lot of people is the new omnidirectional object sensing and avoidance sensors on board. Over 10 sensors working independently to avoid objects from top and bottom, front and back, and side to side. So this is going to be great for a lot of people wanting object avoidance. You also have a new updated version of enhanced APAS on board and that is a nice system working to ensure that your drone avoids objects along your flight path. It is very, very useful system. Now also you get a downward LED light facing the ground when you're landing to avoid any objects on landing. The standard remote controller that comes along with the Mavic 2 is pretty nice. It's going to get us up to 135 minutes worth of battery life on a full charge using your USB charger from home or on the road which is kind of nice. It does have low latency 1080p 
image transmission. And we're now seeing that AkiSync has been updated to 2.0, which is absolutely awesome. It's going to get us out there for 8 kilometers, which is going to be 5 miles out for our video transmission range. If you go out of that range, it will just go into fail safe and return to home. And AccuSync, if you don't know the difference between the Mavic Air and the Mavic Series drones, AccuSync makes everything run better in real time. If you're using Wi-Fi transmission image back to your device, a lot of times you experience lag, which is a major bummer when you're flying through tight and close environments. You don't want to hit anything. And using the AccuSync technology, I never feel like I have that worry. I'm able to see my video transmission in real time and have almost zero lag. And very important for people flying in urban environments, Wi-Fi shares the same bands that you do on your drone, 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. So it does have auto switching in between those frequencies. That way, if you snap over and get interference on one, it switches to the other automatically saving your drone's transmission. And this time around, if you forget your micro SD card on the road, you also have a built in eight gigabytes of onboard storage, which is not the biggest amount of storage in the world, but at least it's something for DJI pilots. Now for the Mavic 2 series, they did introduce the fly more kit. This allows two batteries, the case charger, extra props, and you can charge batteries on the road for $319. Also, they have the DJI trade-up option, which will allow you to go on their website. And this is interesting to me because they have all the DJI models available. You could turn in an old model, used, new, or broken, or otherwise, and select the condition of it. And then you can get an estimated value from DJI. Now, before it goes to DJI, look at this, $296 for a used one. Uh, not very high trade-in value. Now let's try new and go to that. As I was saying, once you send this to DJI, this is the estimated value. When they get it in, they're going to inspect it and decide what that value is going to be. So maybe it'll be higher, maybe it'll be lower, but the numbers aren't looking too high here. For a broken one, you're going to get $50, and that's the estimated credit value. Now let's just hop on Amazon real quick search Mavic Pro and the original Mavic Pro right now the prices haven't plummeted too much they're at 839 and DJI is selling a refurb one on here for 749 so if you sell yours to them for $300 they're gonna make a little bit of a profit here and whatever you do folks get the DJI care refresh get this for your new Mavic 2 it will be worth it if you plummet it into water or you have some type of other damage they will take it in and they will most likely repair it and send it back to you for free unless they find something that was completely out of line normally they will fix it and send it back to you so well worth the extra hundred and twenty nine dollars so that's the end of our sobering overview of the new DJI Mavic 2 Pro and the Zoom version. I'm going to personally choose the Zoom version because after all these years, I can't stand not to have Zoom on my drone. So I'm going to get the Ultimate Mavic 2 from DJI for $1249. And that's the end of this video, folks. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Justin Davis. This has been the DJI Mavic 2. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.